All right, guys, I'm sure you guys know how I feel about Twitter. If you've seen literally any of my videos before, it's a cesspool of complete horseshit. However, you know, there's some things on there that are uh, very eye-opening, to say the least. And I know this is somewhat kind of late news, I guess. It's kind of, it's kind of late. You've probably heard of it. Uh, there's this OnlyFans model who is being accused of murder and stabbing her boyfriend. She killed her OnlyFans. And a video on Twitter was going around. And it was of them two in an elevator. And she was absolutely just completely going off on him. You know, she was just lampooning him and hitting him with left rights. Looking like Floyd Mayweather in there. And he was just sitting, you know, defending himself. You know, just some background on who she is. So she is a 26 year old OnlyFans model going by the name Courtney Taylor. And from what I can find, she was originally born in Texas, but now lives in Miami, Florida with her, well, a uh, former boyfriend, Christian Abumselli. And she has about two million followers on Instagram. And you know, I'll show part of that. I, I might not show the whole thing, but uh, here, here you go. So as you can see, he's defending himself, and yes, does he lay hands on a woman? Yes, he does, but it's clearly in self-defense. I mean, she's looking like Mike Tyson in there, just left and rights, and just won't even back down. The dude's gotta defend himself, I mean, like, really? And I couldn't find the actual, like, video that I first saw on Twitter. It was blowing up, I can't find it anymore, but, you know, I found a repost of the video, obviously, because you guys saw it. But there was so many people in the comments basically still blaming uh the boyfriend whose name is christian toby Boom sally i don't know if i pronounced the last name right i'm i'm sorry there's people in the comments somehow still blaming him for defending himself against a woman in an elevator people are still making him the victim and i don't know if people realize this the dude's fucking dead now i mean really like we're really we're gonna be victim blaming someone that's already dead yeah clearly that makes sense i've also seen because she's in uh court right now and I've seen that her lawyers are trying to spin the story into the fact that she was the abused one. You know, the one that's fucking alive right now. Not the one that's passed away. You know, he wasn't, no, he wasn't being abused. So uh, yeah, with this video, they're basically just trying to spin the uh, narrative on that he was the abuser by showing that he was acting aggressively in the elevator. And he was aggressively defending himself, if anything. I just, I don't understand how you can actually somehow spin the story of him being the abuser and he's fucking dead. I mean, like really? So she's not the abuser yet she killed him. Yeah, no, 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 no. She's not only just an abuser, she's a fucking murderer as well. But I'm sure they don't want to call her that. But you know, I, I'm going to because it's pretty obvious that she did what she did. Clenia kicked a boom cell out of their apartment in the last week of March, but the couple seemingly reconciled two days before his death. Investigators believe Oboom Silly was stabbed between 4.33 p.m. and 4.57 p.m. on April 3rd. Rundell said key fob records show him leaving the apartment shortly after 1 p.m. and returning to the building at 4.32 p.m. Shortly after, neighbors began calling building security, reporting a disturbance in the apartment, and security called police at about 4.46 p.m., Rundell said. Police found that Clenny made two calls to her mother during that time frame before she called 911 herself at 4.57 p.m., requesting help for a boom cell. On that 911 call, Christian can be heard in the background. We reportedly say that he was saying he was losing feeling and his arm, Rundle said. Defending Clenny is also heard saying, I'm so sorry. In a statement to police, Clenny's mother said she heard her daughter yelling at a boom cell to leave the apartment while she was on the phone with her. Clenny told police that after an argument, a boom cell grabbed her by the throat and shoved her against a wall. Then she says he threw her to the ground but allowed her to get up. Rundle said. 
recounting Clenny interview, and it was at that point that Clenny went to the kitchen and got the knife as Christian sort of approached her. She threw the knife at him from a distance. She estimated it to be about 10 feet. The medical examiner reported that a boom cell stab wound occurred from a forced, forceful downward thrust. Rundle said that the chief medical examiner disagreed that a throw from the distance could have caused a fatal stab wound. The police observed no visible injuries, which would have corroborated her account, Rundle said. Clinton was taken into custody Wednesday by the Hawaii's police department while she was in rehabilitation for substance abuse and post-traumatic stress disorders, said her lawyer, Frank Prito. She was being held at the East Hawaii Detention Center and was expected to make her first appearance in a local court district Thursday. The department said, Rundle said Clenny's attorney indicated she was not contest her extradition. Rundle said Clenny's attorney indicated she was not ready for extradition to Florida. In a statement, Prito, who has previously described the couple's relationship as clearly toxic, said he was completely shocked at Clenny's arrest because of the clear evidence of self-defense in the matter. A boom cell attacked her and choked her that evening. He said Courtney had no choice but to meet forceful force. Rundle accused Courtney of being the aggressor in the couple's tumultuous relationship. Rundle showed an elevator video from February, a month after the couple moved into the apartment, in which Courtney appears to be to initiate a physical assault on a boom cell during an argument. It's unclear what happened before the couple began walking into the elevator. You would draw your own conclusion, but it certainly appears that the defendant was aggressively attacking Christian, Rundle said. Larry Hanfield, a lawyer represented Aboom Sally's family, said that the announcement of a charge against Clenny was a relief to the family. He also accused Clenny of having a history of being the aggressor throughout the couple's relationship. What you saw in the elevator was just an isolated glimpse of a pattern of conduct that was demonstrated by the defendant in this case, Hanfield said. A cousin of Aboom Sally had previously said that the family has no cause to believe that he was a case of self-defense. Toby was raised by a very strong family with strong morals, strong values. He does not come from that. Clinton appeared on OnlyFans under the name Corny Taylor and has two million followers on Instagram. So, I mean, yeah, Toby, he got justice, I guess, but it's sad that he had to pass away for her to finally get caught with being an abusive person. You know, I'm just saying if the roles were reversed and the guy was the abuser and the woman was getting abused, this would have been settled in like a day. And it wouldn't even have gotten to the point where someone had to die for someone to get punished. It wouldn't even have gotten to that point if the roles were reversed. So that just proves that men's domestic violence is not taken seriously, but, I mean, is that really shocking to anybody? Sadly, no, but it is what it is. I mean, considering that she was diagnosed with PTSD and substance abuse, and Toby, from what we know, is like a completely sane person, I think it's pretty ridiculous that people are somehow believing the person with PTSD and substance abuse on a situation where those two mental conditions can clearly have an impact on how you act and how aggressive you are. I feel like it's pretty ridiculous that we're not believing the person with a clear sane mind. I find it kind of crazy that some people are still on her side and not believing the person with a clear clean mind. But like I said, you know, men can't get abused, obviously. I mean, we're men. We can't get abused. Come on now. All we can do is just get killed by OnlyFans models. Um, I also found this video by uh, TMZ, so it, it, TMZ, so you know, take it with a grain of salt. It could be completely fake, or it could be real. I don't know. I decided to throw it in here in case it is real. I found a video of her literally being covered in blood after the incident, and yet people are somehow saying that she's not in the wrong. But uh, yeah, here you go. So, uh, yeah, you know, if the fact that her being mentally unstable, having substance abuse problems, covered in blood, and a video of her being aggressive towards a man who was not aggressive during the first place, if that's not enough to say that she's in the wrong, then I don't know what is. I mean, if this wasn't enough evidence, then I mean, shit, maybe Bill Cosby's innocent because maybe they don't have enough evidence on him. 
so uh, yeah, you know, I just wanted to make a video about this mostly because I saw it and it just uh, it kind of it just rubbed me the wrong way, you could say. Mostly because you know you see you know shit like this all the time where women or other people are being clearly abusive or at least aggressive towards men, and then the man will defend himself and somehow still be in the wrong. You know, the dude passed away and people are still saying he's in the wrong, which is absolutely ridiculous to me. So uh, yeah, you know, I'll rest in peace to Christian Obum Sally. And you didn't deserve to die, that's fucking ridiculous. Uh, hopefully, she gets locked up for a long time. But I'm sure she won't because, you know, the justice system is also pretty favorable towards women, so I'm sure she'll be out sooner than she should be. But does that again surprise anybody? Absolutely not. Uh, you know, you can like, subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel though, I don't know. You know buttons help me, so you can press them if you enjoyed the video. And uh, see you guys in my next video. Hopefully a more uh, positive topic. But uh, yeah, see you guys in my next video. Peace.